Hello, in this segment we're going to cover laying out the chains. Um, we're doing this in the garage, but you'd be doing this out in um, whatever the environment or the situation uh, calls for. Whether you're putting the chains on because you've become stuck, or you're putting the chains on because you had to pull over and the uh, highway conditions warrant it and they're needed, or else it's a mandatory requirement to travel over one of the mountain passes. You've got a couple different options of how you can put the chains on. If you're stuck, you're going to be stuck dealing with putting the chains on pretty much where the car is at. And one of the things you want to pay attention to while you're attempting to get unstuck initially, um, if you're starting to dig down and not moving anywhere, the digger, or excuse me, the deeper you dig that hole, the harder it's going to make applying the chains. And if you dig the hole down deep enough where the body of the car comes down and contacts the snow, then you'll find it extremely difficult to get a jack underneath it to jack it up to give you any uh, assistance. So a shovel is a good idea to have along with you in winter driving situations. If you're putting the chain on as the vehicle sits, you drape the chain up over the top of the vehicle or the top of the tire and curl it around down the bottom and fasten it down below. In order to do so, you have to remove all the snow from right around the surface of the tire so you get the chain pulled very tight. Um, and the problem with that being is you have to reach around the back to make that uh, connection back there as well. If you pulled over to have the chains put on uh, as a preventive situation, then you can just take the chains and lay them out. Now remember when you're laying them out, they're marked on there, this side to the tire. So you have to flip it upside down, so that would be to the tire. And lay both the chains right underneath the, the front tires, in front wheel drive, and then just take the vehicle and put it in neutral or in reverse and just slowly back up about a foot and a half and that will locate the car right on the center of the chains and then you can pull and connect the connections on the chains on the top half of the tire where you're out of the snow and you don't have the um, cold conditions where you have to get your hands down there and dig the snow out in various situations of that nature. So I thought I'd point that out to you that you have a couple different options depending on the situation. Um, I'll go ahead at this time and I'll continue to show you how to put the chains on um, on the front wheel as you would be sitting in this condition. So please watch our next segment and we'll cover installing the chains.